Hey guys, my name is Demis Risley and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit this photo using Adobe Photoshop in just under 5 minutes. So the other day I was trying to think of an idea for a new post on my Instagram feed and I thought I'd just go scrolling down my camera roll to see where I've been to in the past and maybe some sort of inspiration might come up and I stumbled across this photo and it sparked an idea. I've seen these sorts of edits floating around on Instagram and so I thought I'd give it a go myself. So for this edit to work, you want to complement your lower angle reflection shot with sort of a higher angle vantage point. I mean, it could be on the same street, but it doesn't have to be. You want to look for a similar scale. So you want to kind of look at the human sizes and see if they sort of work with each other. So I guess the whole point of this video is to show you guys that with a really strong concept and idea, you can really edit something quite quickly with a lot of wow factor. All right, so let's put five minutes on the clock and let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you guys how you can edit this in less than five minutes. So I've got both photos opened already in Adobe Photoshop and they've already both been color graded using Adobe Lightroom. First you want to open up the ground reflection image and you want to start cropping this image. So you want to try to use your rule of thirds guidelines to get the right crop you want and you want to make sure that delete crop pixels at the top is turned off so that you can keep adjusting your crop until you get the right composition you want. Next, what you want to do is bring in the other image. So go to the other file, hit Ctrl Command A to select all, and then Ctrl Command C to copy it in, and then go to the other file and paste it in, Ctrl Command V. And then we want to position it into place. So to do this, you want to hold control while you move the image around and then at the same time, drag in guidelines to make sure things are in the center. And then you want to move this shot onto the layer below. So next you want to apply a layer mask onto layer zero. And once you've done that, you want to get the paintbrush tool and start painting black onto this layer mask. The reason why we use a layer mask is so that you can correct yourself if you make any mistakes. And to do that, you just start painting white to bring back the foreground layer. So yeah, you can kind of be a little bit rough about this because the edges of the puddle is not very distinct. I kind of use a medium sized brush with hardness zero. Then once you revealed the image in the puddle, you can sort of recompose it by using the free transform tool and distort. The aim here was to try to line up the vertical so that both the foreground and the background images lined up perfectly. So yeah, just keep playing around with that until you get the composition that you want. So next you want to fix up the edges of the puddle by bringing back the foreground layer and to do that you just grab a white paintbrush and start rubbing in the edges of the puddle. Again you can be a little bit rough and you can keep going back and forth between painting white and black so that you get the right composition that you want and try to just keep going until you get the right look that you're after. In this case you kind of just want to make the puddle look like it's believable I guess and the edges so that it's not super transparent and you just want to bring back sort of that texture on the edge of the puddle. I thought I'd just completely get rid of the person on the bottom right because their legs is half chopped off. I felt that it wasn't right for the composition. So I drew a selection around the person using a polygonal lasso and then right clicking, going fill and then content aware fill. And then the person automatically disappears. Next, I just kept tweaking the edge of the puddle by playing around with the layer mask, again using black and white to get the right look that I want. To change between black and white quickly, you can use the keyboard shortcut X. 
Next what you want to do is to duplicate the lower angle puddle photo and to do this you're going to right click and then hit duplicate layer on layer 0. Then you want to disable the layer mask from that layer and then change the opacity to about 7%. The reason why we're doing this is so that we can add a little bit more texture in the puddle so that it gives it a little bit more realism. Finally, the last thing you want to do is to color correct the image in the puddle so that both images match in terms of tone. To do this, you want to select layer 1, go image, adjustments, color balance, tweak each slider until you feel that the image is giving you the right sort of tone. Um, in this case, I went for a cooler look and I changed the midtones and the highlights as well. Finally, all you have to do is hit save and the edit is complete. So now let's look at the two before images and then let's look at the after, what we've combined it to. And again, let's look at the two before images and let's look at the after. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Give it a go and see if you can also edit this under 5 minutes. One of the most common questions I get is how long it takes me to edit one photo on Instagram. It ranges from about 5 minutes to a couple of hours depending on the complexity of the edit. But the whole point of this video is I think to show that if you start with a super strong concept and a goal in mind, you can edit something super quickly and try to achieve that goal in a short amount of time. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the tutorial and want to see more content like this, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!